Although the management and local authority councillors snapped to receive the workers' petition, the demonstration went ahead with group leader Nathan Kayambo voicing the 14th check be paid within 14 working days. In fact, we did everything possible, reasonable, and it could be that the council has negotiated in bad faith by referring our demand to the line ministry deliberately using such avenue to just frustrate us in the process, also delaying the logical conclusion of our negotiation. And it's our submission today here that such a route was not only infringement of our rights, but also serious impeachment of our recognition agreement signed between the parties. According to Kayambo, there is also concern over the council's failure to permanently employ 40 contract workers, flawed recruitment process, lack of proper salary and grading system, as well as the absence of health and safety protocols within the technical department. We demand fair and just recruitment process in accordance with an existing policy of the guidelines and the guidelines. We demand a serious review of our salary structure in order to rectify the current dis discrepancies within the existing so-called salary structure. We demand the staff recognition be prioritized in terms of extra duty performed. If the demands are not met, workers have threatened to down tools and engage in a strike as per the Certificate of Unresolved Dispute awarded on 27 July this year. Ochiwarongo Mayor Kandiwapa Shivute, however, said the demonstration is illegal. We resolve various issues and uh, that we are supposed to be adhered to. If they have given us time, and uh, um, to our surprise, um, they have uh, um, um, go forward with their um, peaceful demonstrations, of which I'm denouncing to say it's an illegal because they did not communicate all necessary policies. They did not adhere to all necessary uh, procedures that needs to be adhered before you can embark on a peaceful demonstration. Faith Sankwatsam, NBC News, Oshuwarongo.